The town was named after the indigenous people or IPs called Tiboli, one of the ethnic tribes that predominantly inhabited the place. It was established on March 5, 1974 through the Presidential Decree No. 407. Tinago na town of the Marcos time. Now, uh, uh, the town is now open for tourism for just four years. Because uh, the royal family agreed in 2014 that we are now open for tourism. But limited. No? We are only host 200 tourists a day inside the municipality. So that uh, the royal family would not be disturbed. No? So that's the agreement between ancestral domain. So we are 112,000 hectares municipality and this is the biggest municipality of the region 12. And 88,000 of it is ancestral domain. So uh, we are uh, agri industrial municipality. So we are Dole Philippines and Sumitum who is our uh, long time partner for almost 35 years. And the mining industry. So Sumitomo and the mining industry. So we mine a uh, small, uh, small scale mining company. Uh, we mine golds and silver. So welcome. Located at the center of the town is the Tiboli Canon Monument. It symbolizes Tiboli's people's colorful culture and rich heritage. Part of the monument is a replica of a Tiboli musical instrument called Sludoi or Bamboo Zither, with Tiboli tribal people playing different kinds of musical instruments on top. Towering above it is a kumbing or a bamboo johar. The word kainun is a Tiboli word which means beautiful or elegant, which serves as a reminder to the townspeople and as a greeting to its visitors. The municipality of Tiboli was visited during the Sustainable Community-Based Tourism Recognition Assessor's Assessment by the Tourism Promotions Board of the Department of Tourism in 2019. Tiboli tribal women in their colorful kegal or Tiboli dress performed a madal, which is a Tiboli dance, as part of the welcome ceremony at the Tiboli Cultural Village located in Barangay Gansolo. They danced from the music produced by their cultural musical instruments, such as kilita, which are eight gong tatals laid horizontally in a rock. The nong gong, a deer skin drum. And ang gong, a set of two white rings of vertically suspended gongs. Located inside the Tiboli Cultural Village is the Gunu Bong. It is a traditional Tiboli longhouse that was officially open to tourists and visitors as a lodging house or homestay last February 28, 2017. It provides an opportunity for visitors to experience the Tiboli's traditional way of life and culture. It is being managed by the Tiboli women of Barangay Lems Nolon, assisted by the local government of Tiboli. The Tiboli's traditional gunubong is a stilt house with a big open hall with no divider or partition where the dining room, bedroom, and the kitchen are all located. It was colorfully decorated with a touch of Tiboli royalty. Colorful curtains hang on various parts of the room. Kailabu or a canopy with a colorful curtain is where visitors sleep. It has a mosquito net like curtain for more privacy. Food is served in a dining table with no legs. There are no chairs. Visitors have to sit on the floor when dining. Some of Tiboli's native dishes served in the Gunu Bong. Onuk Haklaka Roasted Native Chicken Onuk Nalut Native Chicken cooked with lemongrass inside a bamboo or tiboli version of tinolang manok With meso, which is rice, wrapped in a leaf 
ube hega, which is bulg kamote or sweet potato, with sweetened arabica coffee in a bamboo mug are served during breakfast. Another unique feature of the Tiboli house is the awning window. Instead of hinged or connected at the top and opened outward from the bottom, it is connected from the bottom and opened outward from the top. City of Kule Cultural Village is located in Barangay Salakake, a remote barangay in the municipality of Tiboli that can be reached by a one and a half hour travel through a dirt, rocky and bumpy road passing through various banana plantations. <laughs> Madal, or Tiboli dance, performed by a group of Tibol children in colorful Tiboli costume as part of the welcome ceremony. Kule is one of the jump-off points in going to Lake Holon via Kule Trail or Hunter's Trail. It is considered the most challenging route that entails around 3 to 4 hours trek. Lake Holon is a popular eco-adventure tourism destination and was tagged as Crown Jewel of the South. It was declared as the cleanest lake in Region 12 and cleanest inland bodies of water in the Philippines in 2003 and 2004. An orientation is conducted prior to any trek. Sitio Kule Cultural Village is a sustainable, community-based tourism site being managed by the Tiboli community under the guidance of the Municipal Tourism Development and Promotions Unit of Tiboli. It is a housing project funded by the National Housing Authority to address the need for shelter of the residents of the area and as homestay facility for visitors in need of lodging on their way to Lake Holon. Edwards, 
Theodora's Farm is a popular place for dining in Tivoli due to its delicious food serving Ilongo cuisine and also due to its serene and relaxing environment. It also offers ATV, which stands for Altering Vehicle, Joyride for Visitors. Falls, Hikong Falls, Lamhaku Hot and Cold Spring, and Baknageb River 